the show was set in the 1940s, right after the war, 45. And it was a story about the soldiers coming home and how things had changed. Um, set in Ohio. The summer before, after the pilot and before we went into production, I did a little road trip with my daughter and we spent a lot of time just traveling around, making connections with, and going to tons of vintage shows. There was also a great store, uh, I think on, at the time it was on Melrose and then they moved to La Brea called Repeat Performance. It was quite a famous store in LA uh, and they had um, helped with Bugsy. I remember that um, Bugsy was filming at the same time as we were. So any, another customers helped me and gave me, you know, hints and, you know, Weston had a lot of stuff, palace costume. But we bought a lot of clothes from rag, they called them rag pickers, you know, people across the country who would go to shows and, and uh, estate sales and find uh, pieces from the 40s, including the undergarments. A, a lot of, it was interesting and it still happens now and then you'll find sort of a cache of like an old factory somewhere in the Midwest that's gone out of business. And at one point we found a shoe factory that we found we, hundreds of pairs of shoes from the 1940s that were still in boxes uh, that no one had ever used. So you always, are you used to find those sorts of magic things? I think that doesn't happen as much now because of online, you know, mm -hmm. selling. Um, but yeah, we did, we found amazing pieces. And then, and then after I joined the guild, we started just making everything. So, because then I could. When you're working on a period or a vintage show, um, you know, you do try to purchase fabric from the period, but given that, you know, time passes and fabric does deteriorate the way it does, and there's a great deal of care that has to go in. And I think what's happened now in our business, and I learned on Queen Charlotte, is that um, the best thing to do at this point is to have fabrics woven so they're new, but a mill, you know, milled. Uh, they're new, but so that, that they're crisp and fresh because that is a struggle for us in the co in costume design is to be authentic. But also, if you need a, I don't know, you need a suit for a man and he has to wear it for ten weeks and you need a multiple of six, well, you're not going to find that. So one hopes you can, you know, mill the fabric to create the suit.